that a lot of people want to get outside, especially because we have fun events like the Jazz and Ribs Fest happening. It's Saturday where we have picnic with the pops going on. So a lot of attention is going to be focused on the live Viper radar. So let's start with what's going on right now. You'll notice just a few flecks of green showing up. Now those along in south of 70, that's just kind of the moisture that comes with first thing in the morning. Also a sign of high humidity and a few passing clouds. It's up to the north though, so areas like Lima northward that we're starting to see not only the rain, but some thunder and lightning. So I want to start by zooming out and show you what's heading our way. You notice round one of these rain showers and thunderstorms, it will continue to scoot its way up to the northern edge of the area, impacting just a few sprinkles up to the north up until about 9 a.m. Now as we approach that noon to 3 p.m. time frame, here's where this next batch of some stronger storm starts to push in from Milwaukee towards Chicago. Chicago, they're getting quite the lightning show from this system and keep in mind it is first thing in the morning and we're still seeing a lot of lightning. So that's going to be a sign that we have not only a strengthening storm system, but plenty in our atmosphere, including the heat and humidity to continue to get some of these thunderstorms going. Now the view outside with the Window Nation Tower camera actually looking beautiful as we start off the day. You'll notice a little bit of that color starting to show up. Just a few passing clouds outside early this morning in areas like Columbus. But keep in mind, things are going to continue to change, especially later on this afternoon. Already though, just that normal heat and humidity already in full force. We're at sitting at 70 degrees. Southeasterly breeze for now, it's staying light at five miles per hour. But that southeasterly direction to the wind means more of that warm air and high humidity on the rise. So like we were saying, not all day washout ahead of us, but as we head throughout the late afternoon, early evening hours, if you will be outside for an event like Jazz and Rib Fest, make sure that you're paying attention to the live Viper radar because as soon as we get the thunder and lightning, you're going to need to go indoors. Now Picnic with the Pop, similar story where the better chance for thunderstorms will be right before the event gets going. Showers will continue to slide down to the south and east by about 8 to 10 p.m. So keep in mind, especially again for those outdoor events, that you want to be on the lookout and stay posted for anything like a lightning delay because lightning with some of these storms could be one of our biggest concerns later on. Now I do want to time things out for you a little closer on the pinpoint forecast. Notice up until noon today, we are going to be staying dry. We'll be building in the clouds and you're really going to notice the heat and the humidity. That's where the southerly direction of the wind comes into play. As we fast forward to noon all the way up until about 2 to 3 p.m., there's where that next band of rain showers and thunderstorms moves through. So if you're in an area like Columbus, stretching along the 71 corridor up toward Newark, Mount Vernon, even down toward London and Washington Courthouse by about 2 to 3 p.m., that's especially when you want to make sure you're staying weather aware and watching this band of storms. Notice because it is just a line of thunderstorms moving through as we approach 6 p.m., not going to be that all evening washout, but we will continue to see not only a few spotty showers, but some lightning in the area. 6 to 9 p.m. though, we start to clear out those showers and thunderstorms. As we head toward first thing Sunday, heat and humidity back in full force throughout the morning and afternoon. It really won't be until Sunday evening, so closer to about that 5 to 8 p.m. time frame that yet again we bring back that chance for showers and storms. So again, kind of the theme for today and tomorrow is not all day washouts. So for those outdoor activities, you just want to make sure that you are staying weather aware and know where the nearest indoor shelter is, if nothing else, for the threat for that thunder and lightning that'll be moving through. With heat and humidity in full force, well, temperature wise, we're climbing right back up to the mid to upper 80s and we'll feel about five degrees warmer than that. We'll be watching for this next round for potential heat advisories even throughout the day on Sunday because 93 degrees going to be feeling closer to 100. So that's going to be probably your biggest concern if you'll be outside for maybe Jazz and Rib Fest tomorrow as we head toward the start of the work week. And the front that's going to be moving through late Sunday into Monday, triggering some of those thunderstorms, it stalls out just down to the south of us. So as a result, we'll have a chance for some showers and thunderstorms Monday. Tuesday also not looking like a washout, but a day where we'll see just a few showers. And then Cynthia, another system moves through by the end of the week, and that'll keep around the chance for thunderstorms Wednesday and Thursday.